Hello friends. I'm welcoming all of you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You know God is good and his mercy endures forever. The Bible says give thanks to the Lord for he is good and his mercy endures forever. God has been so good to all of us last 9 months and we got into 10th month of this year. God has been so gracious. God has been so good to you and God has been so good to me. God has been so good to all of us. Dear friends, his mercy endures forever. Thank God the way he led us last 9 months and we got into the 10th month October 1st. 2018 you know today i have a word for all of you i have a prophetic word for all of you like you know we are you are going to receive that prophetic word in a powerful way you know friends i know by now all of you have come to listen god's word every month on first i'm coming on live on this facebook bringing god's promise for that entire month even today i brought god's word to all of you yes friends like you know so many times we feel like you know we should not uh, uh, talk about us uh, but i feel that's not the right way you know today i'm not just sitting here as a, as a just ordinary human being and i'm not just talking to you as just a man but today i want to come to you and talk to you as an ambassador of jesus christ as a man of god as a prophet of god i want to talk to you you know when i say i am ambassador of god ambassador of jesus that's mean the entire heavenly kingdom backing me up When I say I'm a man of God, God backs my words. When I say the prophet of God, the anointing what God placed in my life, it will backing me up when I release the word from the Bible for this month of October. I encourage all of you who watches this program, who's watching, who's going to watch again later, uh, I don't know from where, uh, which country or which city, which town you are going to watch. I'm going to go through all your prayer requests in the later sometime. But today I want to I want to tell you today, especially today in this live I come as an ambassador of God. as a man of god as a prophet of god as mean the entire kingdom of god is backing me up the heaven is backing me up the holy spirit is backing me up my words is not going to go just like that if you are serious about what i'm speaking today it's going to change your life forever i hope you are ready to hear the promise and the prophetic word for this month of october are you ready Are you all ready? I just want to release it. It's written in Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. I'll read it for you. <coughs> it says like this. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. You know, friends, I want to highlight a few things in this world. Is able. God is able. The first thing I want to highlight is, now to him who is able. God is able. There's absolutely nothing is impossible with God. All things are possible with God. That's what the Bible says. What is impossible with the man, it is possible with the God. I want to encourage all the viewers nothing is impossible with God all things are possible with God God is able God is able God is able there's nothing is impossible with God what is impossible with the man it is possible with God what is impossible with the money it is possible with the God what is impossible with the people with the power of this world or influence or education or work or anything everything is possible with the God the first thing i want to tell god is able 
what kind of ability the second thing i want to tell what kind of ability god has the bible says to do exceedingly abundantly hallelujah hallelujah he has a capacity he has a ability to do exceedingly and abundantly hallelujah and then third i want to highlight is he is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think friends this is the promise for this month god is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think god is going to do more than what you are asking and more than what you are thinking the october month god is going to do more than what you are asking more than what you are praying i don't know how many receiving this word in the name of jesus i release it this month god is able to do exceedingly and abundantly more than what you ask or what you think receive it in the name of jesus christ hallelujah more than exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think just imagine if you are asking for a house the bible says is able to do exceedingly abundantly that's mean not just a house but more than that just imagine you are asking for a two spiritual gift two gifts from the holy spirit i want to tell you he is going to do exceedingly and abundantly that's mean all the nine gifts is going to be released over your life receive it in the name of jesus christ if you are praying for a 10000 rupees job a 20000 rupees job you are going to receive a job which will be more than 40000 more than 50000 because he is going to give you is going to do he has ability to do exceedingly and abundantly more than what we ask or think if you ask me what is my word my portion for this month as a man of god i want to tell you this month in the month of october the lord is going to do and lord is going to give you more than what you ask and more than what you think i hope you are rejoicing i'm rejoicing i'm very ex- excited about this promise of god because i know god is not a man to lie when he promises he promises that's it his promises are yes and amen hallelujah come on church come on my beloved one just claim this promise open your mouth and say this month in the month of october god is going to do more than what i ask and more than what i think he's going to do exceedingly abundantly above all that i ask or think that's the promise for this month more than what you ask and more than what you think sometimes you know sometimes we feel like this what we are thinking itself it looks like so big compared to our capacity compared to our job our career or our life like you know we feel like you know what i'm thinking what i'm asking it that itself looks so big but just can you imagine god is going to do bigger than that you're thinking what you're thinking is big you're thinking what you're praying is big but there is some surprises waiting for you god is going to do something bigger than what you are thinking something above all that you ask or think number one don't forget god is able number two don't forget he is able to do exceedingly and abundantly three don't forget it's a promise for this man he is the god who gives us more than what we ask or more than what we think exceedingly abundantly or above all that we ask are about all that we think friends hallelujah i receive it for myself in the name of jesus christ you also can say that i receive it for myself yes i receive it for my family i receive it for my ministry i receive it for my career god is going to do more than what i ask or think i just want to highlight two three things i'm going to pray for all of you you know it says god is able to do exceedingly abundantly more than what we ask or think that's mean you should ask you cannot be quiet you should ask prayer is the key for your breakthrough you should open your mouth and ask 
ask. Many times people think God knows my need. No, friends, you must open your mouth and ask. The Bible says, ask and you shall receive it in the name of Jesus. Number two, ask or think. That means God is expecting you to think. In another way to put that word, imagine. Friends, you should have an imagination. You should think about your life. You should have an imagination in your mind. That's one of the greatest gifts God has given to mankind to imagine. Just imagine that you are prospering. Just imagine that you are successful. Just imagine, just think about that. You are more than a conqueror. You know, your imagination is one of the key. Your imagination is very, very, very powerful key, my friends. Your imagination is very important. Your imagination is very important. So two things we are going to do. We are going to ask. We are not, big. We are not going to be quiet. The Bible says you are not received because you are not asked. Many people are not received. The reason they are not received is they never opened mouth and asked. But this month you are going to ask everything what you need in your life. Number two, you are going to think. You're going to imagine, imagine about your life. Imagine the positive things. Imagine, you know, friends, when I was in the street where I didn't have a, like, you know, dress to change, one dress I was wearing more than three years. But my imagination was too big. Those days where I couldn't get food for three, four days time, I used to tell my friends, Today, my condition is this, but tomorrow I'm going to fly across the world. I'm going to preach the gospel around the world. You know, when I was talking all these things, my people used to criticize me. My friends used to, like, you know, they criticize, they make fun of that. You know, I should climb on the terrace and see all the buildings and imagine and think those buildings are not just buildings, those buildings are the crowd. Those buildings are the people. I start shouting and preaching my imagination that thousands and thousands and thousands are standing before me. That was my imagination. You know, today I am bold enough to say everything what I imagined about my life, it's happening. Everything what I asked, it's happening. So ask. Number two, imagine. Third, I want to close with this. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. There's a power which is working in us. That power can produce things behind your imagination. Above all that you ask. You know, the world, world is searching for power looking for power, running after for power. But for a child of God, you no need to search for power because there's a power which is working in you. There's a power which is working in you. It, that power has a capacity. That power has the ability to do more than what we ask or think. So your power is nowhere. It's in you. Because the Bible says the greater is that one who's in you than the one who is in the world. The God who is in you is greater than anybody. You are not alone. You are not an orphan. God has not forsaken you. God has not left you. He is in you. He is with you. He has a power to do exceedingly, abundantly, more than all that we ask or think. Praise God. I'm going to pray, then I'm going to read your prayer request. I'm going to spend a few minutes with all of you and uh, I'm going to pray now. Friends, before I pray, I just want to take this opportunity. I just really want to take this opportunity and invite all of you. You know, our ministry's 24th anniversary celebration is coming this week, October 5, 6, 7 in Campus Crusade, Lingraj from Bangalore. You know, uh, Friday evening the meeting starts. Our beloved Annan Sam Jabudur Annan will be speaking on Friday night. And then Saturday morning we are going to have a special 
fasting prayer and Saturday evening Jason the Edinburgh is coming to speak to us and Sunday I'm going to take God is going to do mighty things I want to take this opportunity and invite all my friends who live in and around Bangalore even if you are far you can come and be a part of this great event which is going to be change your life forever you know with the ex excess of travel and so many other things we had so much end up with the god's work in many ways like you know so it's not possible for me to come to you personally and invite you but i i really request to take this invitation as my personal invitation and come and be blessed pray for this event and if god speaks to you you can support this event i'm going to pray now then i will follow your commands and in few minutes we will spend time with you and pray don't forget this is the month where god is going to do exceeding abundant above all that you ask or think father i thank you lord jesus i pray for everyone who's watching this program who's watching this live let your hand come upon them in the name of jesus christ this month october month as a ambassador of god as a man of god as a prophet of god i release that word upon every sons and daughters every brother and sister every lord every child every elder every uncle auntie every father mother every family lord in every nation father that you are going to do exceedingly and abundantly more than above all that they are asking or thinking father according to the power that works in them father let them know there's a power working in them which can give produce which can produce greater things greater things greater things lord thank you father for blessing bless the month of october that everyone will find that greater is in them and walk with you and our greater things lord especially i pray that they will ask and they will imagine bless all my friends in jesus mighty name i pray amen magi maik paathira ganathirk paathira எங்கள் கரங்களை உயர்த்தி உமை என்றும் ஆராதிப்போம் மகிமைக்கு பாத்திர கணத்திற்கு பாத்திர